Hi guys! In today's video, we'll be doing this Elsa inspired doll from the new Olaf's Frozen Adventure. I really like this new dress and I hope you guys enjoy my take on it. I chose to give this doll three dimensional lashes to make it a little different than the previous Elsa dolls I've made. For the base of this project, I'll be using this Mal Descendants doll, which I got second hand at a thrift shop. She came in this dress, but I don't know if it's her original one. And I chose this doll because her face sculpt and shape was a little more like Elsa than a Barbie or a Monster High. Firstly, I removed all of her accessories and her hair. Then I used acetone to remove her face and also the paint on top of her head. After giving the head a wash, I primed it with the Mr. Super Clear spray, and then I used my watercolor pencils and my soft pastels for the repaint. There was a permanent discoloration to the forehead, which I couldn't remove with acetone, so I chose to first apply a layer of soft pastel to kind of mask that, then sealing it in with the spray again. For this one I started with the lips, using a somewhat purple pencil to fill them in, and I kind of underdrew them a little bit because the face sculpt had bigger lips than Elsa does. Then I lightly sketched on the eyes with a light brown pencil to kind of figure out where I needed them to be and the shape, before filling them in with a black pencil. Then blocking the colors of the eyes. After placing in the basic eye shadow color with a pencil, I used chalk pastel to smoke out the edges. I gently start adding in the eyebrows with a brown pencil. If you mess up here, it's pretty easy to erase it with an eraser. Using a pink pastel, I add blush on the cheeks and a little bit across the nose, and then I use a white pastel to add highlights. At this point, I sealed in the face with the spray again, let it dry, and then started working on top, repeating a lot of the same steps to deepen the colors. Once I've repeated all the previous steps, I also go in with a bit of black pastel to shade the eyes.
I draw on faint lower lashes, but not upper lashes since we'll be adding the three dimensional ones later. I use the watercolor effect of my white pencil to add the highlights of the eyes and also let the eye white stand out. The final touch was adding on the faint little freckles before sealing it in a final time. For the hands, I used acetone to remove the color of the gloves to make them a little more neutral. For the hair, I used this light blonde viscose, which I got off eBay, and I actually started by making a braid and gluing this to the bottom of the back of the head, and then started adding hair going upwards. I made her little hairpiece with dried leaf and three studs. Then I added doll lashes, which I also got off eBay, and glazed the eyes. And that's the head done. Now for the dress. I'll be covering the doll in kitchen film and tape so I can draw on the pattern. Since the pattern is symmetrical, you only have to draw on one half, so divide it into a front piece, a back piece, a sleeve piece, and then add slits to both the front and the back. Trace the pieces onto paper and add length to the skirt to the length you need it to be compared to the doll, and then also add seam allowance going all around and cut it out. For fabric, I compromised and went for this blue cotton, since I couldn't find one more similar to the movie. Then you want to place on your pattern pieces, trace them and cut them out. Take the front piece, fold it so you can sew down the slits to make the proper shape. And sew the slits on the two back pieces as well. Then take the front piece and sew it to the front of the first sleeve. Then you want to hem the edges of the sleeve since it's easier to do now. Then sew the back pieces to the sleeves. Then you want to fold over and hem the top neckline, again because it's easier to do now. Once that's done, you then want to fold one half of the dress over like this and sew down the bottom of the sleeve and also down the side of the dress to close it. Once you've done that to both sides, you want to fold the dress in half and sew down the bottom part of the two open halves. Now you can try it on the doll and test the fit. And if it's good, then you just want to close up the rest of the back using either snap buttons or velcro, and then you can hem the bottom edge. And that's the basic dress. Now it's ready for decorations. To add on the pattern at the bottom of the dress, I use some silver acrylic paint, but obviously fabric paint would be the better choice.
to add sparkle to the top, I added these diamond shaped glitters and glued them on using fabric glue. For her cape or veil, I sewed it using some organza, which I just folded up the edges and sewed around it so it wouldn't fray. And since I only had white, I used a blue alcohol marker to color it, but if you have blue organza, that'd be easier. Then I used the same silver paint to paint on a pattern from both sides. And here's the finished train. Now you can sew this onto the back of the dress. And for the collar, you want to use some fluffy fabric and sew a strip of this to the top of the neckline. And then we're ready to put the doll together. And here's the finished doll. I really like how it turned out, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Have you guys seen Ola's Frozen Adventure? I just saw it on Netflix and I thought it was really cute. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in a new one real soon. Bye!